In this video, Timmy's going to show you how to BCC or blind carbon copy in Gmail so that you can send a blind carbon copy of an email to another person without the main recipient of the email knowing about it. This can also be handy if you want to send the same email to a whole lot of different people and you don't want any person to see all the other email addresses that you've also sent it to. So to do this, all you need to do is start composing your email just like you normally would. So you'll click compose and you'll type the to address. So the to address here is where you put the email address of the main recipient. So even though you're BCCing it to someone else or maybe even multiple different people, there always needs to be a main actual address that you're sending it to. So typically you might be sending this email to one person who will be in the to field and then also BCCing it to another person or maybe you want to BCC 50 different people and have no one see any other email address. And if you want to do that, you can actually put your own email address in the to field and then put all of your recipients in the BCC field and then when you send it out, you're basically just sending an email to yourself, but everyone else will be blind carbon copied into it and they won't see any of the other email addresses. So that can be a good way to do it, but you just need to put whoever you're sending it to here. And then you'll probably go ahead and type your subject and message body and everything else like that. You can do this later if you want to, or you can do it now. So to me, I'll just type that. And now once you've got your email and you're ready to send it, now you're ready to add an address that you want to BCC into the email. So what you need to do is you'll need to click back up near the main recipient. So don't click on them, but click somewhere next to them like that so that your cursor is in here. And now once you're in here, you should see CC and BCC over here and you can click either one of these to CC or BCC someone. So we want to BCC or blind carbon copy. So we'll click BCC and now there's a BCC field here that you can put a BCC address into. Or if you're using the Gmail app, you'll need to tap a drop down arrow next to the to field. But apart from that, it's pretty much the same as using the website. Now you'll just need to type any email address of anyone you want to BCC. So go ahead and type any address in here and add them in there. So now the email will be sent to Bob, but it'll be BCC'd to Timmy and Bob will have no idea that it was BCC to Timmy because it's blind carbon copy instead of carbon copied. So that's pretty much all there is to it there. You could add other addresses in either field if you want, but for now, Timmy will just go ahead and click send here and that will send that email off to both Bob and Timmy. But when Bob receives the email, he will just see that it was sent to him and he will have no idea that it was also sent to Timmy. He just sees it was from techtimewithtimmy at gmail.com to his own email address. So he has no idea about that. But because the email was BCC'd to Timmy, Timmy will see the email was sent to Bob, but BCC'd me. So he can see exactly what's happened here, that it was BCC'd to him. So you're BCCing the person who you want to see everything and you're putting the person in the to field that you don't want to know you've BCC'd it to. But then once you do that, this can work very well. And you can also BCC multiple people just as easily. If we come back in here and compose a new email, if we click back up here, and then click BCC again to add the BCC field, we can put multiple email addresses in here. So we could go to me B and pixel the cat 
and maybe Timmy at techtimewithtimmy.com as well. So we can put three different people in the BCC field and just Bob in the to field and send that. And that will send this email off to all of those people. And each of those three who are in the BCC field will see that it was BCC to their own address, but they won't see any of the other BCC addresses. So it's a good way you can BCC multiple different people without anyone really seeing any of the other addresses. And if you want to BCC someone in an email you're replying to or forwarding or something like that, it's pretty much the same thing. You just open up the email, either reply or forward, and then click next to the recipient like that. And now you'll be able to click BCC here to add a BCC field. So you can put an email address in there and BCC someone. And if you're in the Gmail app, you would just either tap the reply button there or tap the three dots and tap forward, but we'll go with reply. And then next to the re recipient here, you'll tap the down arrow here and then that will reveal the BCC field where you can add someone to blind carbon copy into the email. But that's all there is to it. That's how you can BCC someone in Gmail. So hopefully you found this video helpful and we'll see you in the next one.